Thank you very much. My name is Chief Kristen Zeman. I'm the chief of the Aurora, Illinois Police Department. At approximately 1.24 today, the Aurora Police Department received multiple calls for an active shooter at 641 Archer Avenue, a manufacturing warehouse. At 1.28, officers arrived and were fired upon immediately. Two of the initial four officers entering the building were shot. Additional officers began to arrive and were also fired upon. A total of five officers were struck by gunfire. The other officers on the scene located gunshot victims inside the building. At this time, we have confirmed that five victims are deceased. The Aurora Fire Department arrived on scene to stage with medics. A regional law enforcement response was coordinated to include rescue task force, and several teams of officers went inside to locate and engage the offender. The building is 29,000 square feet, and when they located the event offender, they engaged in gunfire with him, ultimately killing him. The shooter is identified as Gary Martin. He is a 45-year-old man, and we believe he was employee, an employee of the company. At this time, we aren't sure of the motive of this act of violence. We do not have the identities of the deceased, but we would like family members to know that unification for the victims and witnesses that were in the building will be at Aurora University Public Safety Building located at 1408 South Lawn. All five police officers were transported to local hospitals, and from there, two were airlifted to Chicago area trauma centers. A sixth officer is being treated for a knee injury. I want to take this opportunity to send positive energy to those officers who are being treated and to the officers and medics who showed up from all over the state to render aid. This message is for them. Thank you for your selfless act. Thank you for running towards gunfire and putting your lives in danger to protect those inside the business. My heart goes out to the victims and their families who simply went to work today like any other day. We offer our sincere condolences, and as the facts of this tragedy unfold, we will provide information and attempt to make sense of it. I'd like to introduce now our mayor, Richard C. Irvin, to say a few words. I don't think I can be clear in stating that today is a sad day in the city of Aurora. For so many years, we have seen similar situations throughout our nation. And the horrible feeling that we, that we get when we see it on the news to experience it firsthand is even more painful. It's a shame that mass shootings such as this have become commonplace in our country. It's a shame that a cold and heartless offender would be so selfish as to think he has the right to take an innocent life. But well, we as society cannot allow those, these horrific acts to become commonplace. We as, as a society cannot allow the selfless and heartless acts of this terrible tragedy to be relegated to spots on the 10 o'clock news. We must never forget those innocent people who were senselessly, senselessly gunned down, the mothers and fathers, sons and daughters. We must never forget those police officers that rose to the call of duty and put themselves in harm's way to protect the innocent, who are also mothers and fathers sons and daughters. Our hearts go out to the victims in this horrific tragedy. Our prayers to their families during what I'm sure will be a long and painful healing process. But we will heal. We will come together as one community and stand by those in pain from today's great loss. We will stand together with those officers shot in the line of duty we will come together and heal, and heal as one Aurora. Let me commend our heroic first responders, the Aurora Police Department, the Aurora Fire Department, our 911 operators, Kane County Sheriff's Office, and all the, the, the FBI, and all the responding public safety teams throughout mutual, mutual aid, and who have come from near and far to assist today. They all put their lives on the line to secure the health and safety of others. We sincerely thank you. Thank you to every person who was directly involved in this incident. Your patience and professionalism during this entire process was commendable and allowed the responding officers to get the job done. We are here for you all as well. Thank you to the entire Aurora community for helping us to get the word out 
and provide accurate information throughout the community. Your support was invaluable and will continue to be from this point forward. Thank you to the people from throughout the nation who have offered assistance as well. We need your support and we need your prayers more than ever. On behalf of the entire city of Aurora, remember, we are one community and we will be stronger than ever past this. At this time, I will introduce our governor, J.B. Pritzker. I want to begin by acknowledging the amazing work of the Aurora Police Department and Chief Zeman and all of the men and women who were first responders and every single law enforcement officer involved in securing this scene. You rushed toward danger and in doing that you saved countless lives and you represent the very best of what it means to protect our communities and to serve our communities. You have our deepest gratitude and all the resources of the state that you need are at your disposal to continue your work into the evening and in the days ahead. I want to say a special thank you to the FBI, the ATF, Illinois State Police for offering backup, for being here to help the city of Aurora and the police department. There is no way to prepare for the pain of losing innocent people in the state that you were elected to lead, the state that you're elected to protect, there is no way to prepare. There are no words for the kind of evil that robs our neighbors of their hopes, their dreams, and their futures. There are no words to express our gratitude to the families of the officers who were injured in the line of duty as they responded within moments to the gravest kind of danger that they can face. Tomorrow, the families of the victims will be less than whole. They join a group that should not exist and yet continues to grow. This morning, I stood with 1,500 community members in Chicago who are fighting the epidemic of gun violence that continues to ravage so many communities. These are everyday citizens who have been called to action by the loss of a loved one, by witness of violence in their communities, or by the simple desire for change. To the families of the victims here in Aurora, there are no words that I can offer to lessen the pain. But know that our state grieves with you that MK and I and our family grieves with you. May the memory of those that we lost today be a blessing. And more than that, may their memory fuel our work to bring peace to this state that we call home. And may God bless the brave law enforcement officers who continue to run toward danger.